Hey everyone, welcome to your practice. My name is Molly and today is going to be a mid-length, mid-spice class. So about 20 to 30 minutes should feel really good for your whole body. And we'll be working with the concept of creating a sturdy base. So a lot of grounding postures, but we will find some movement. We will stand up, not completely yin style by any means, but grab some blocks if you like practicing with them or a pillow, a blanket, whatever will help you feel comfortable and feel supported and then grab some music or some oils, candles, whatever you need to kind of set your space aside and give yourself a few moments to arrive wherever you are. If you're outside, if you're in your room, if you're in your office, on your lunch break, if you're winding down for bed, just give yourself a few moments to separate what you were doing beforehand and what you might need to do after from right here and right now so you can be here for your practice. And then lay down onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest and then out wide towards your armpits, your rib cage. You can close your eyes here if you'd like and you can either stay in stillness or gently rock from side to side. And allow your breath to be soft, but full. In and out through your nose. And then maybe notice on your inhale, if you can soften your low back onto the mat. So get really wide with your skin. Exhale, gently let it go. more breaths. In this last breath, let yourself become really heavy and feel supported from the ground underneath you. Like it's holding you, like you can release and relax into it. Take a deep breath in expansive and soft and wide through your body. And exhale, let it go. You can blink your eyes open if you close them and then bring the soles of your feet down onto the mat really wide and your knees in the center to touch. From here, take some windshield wipers, right and left, drop the knees over and over. Take up space on your mat. You can have your arms wide if that feels like you can have a sturdier base to work from. Mostly just let it feel good in your hips, in your back. A couple more rounds here. And then the next time your knees drop over to the right, leave them there, push down through your right elbow and come to sit. So we're in a deer pose. You might feel the inside, the inner seam of your left leg on the mat and the outer seam of your right leg in the mat. So we're internally rotating the left leg, externally rotating the right leg. And then feel those structural supports pushing down into your mat or into the ground and then lift up through your spine. Kind of like your spine is a pillar here. Take a deep breath in and then twist over to the right. Right hand is supported behind you and left hand can come onto your right thigh. Breathe in for some length through your spine. And then breathe out to twist a little deeper, peeling your right shoulder open and corkscrewing all of your organs kind of around your spine here. Release, twist the other way. So keep your legs as they are. Now left hand comes behind you and right hand comes onto your left leg. Inhale for some length again, push down into the structural support you have. And then exhale to twist deeper, lengthen and broaden across your collarbones, open up through your heart. And gently release. One more breath, kind of a neutral. And then we're just gonna pivot our knees to the other side. So drop them down to the left into your deer sit. 
And again, feel the outer side of your left leg and the inner side of your right leg this time. Push down, feel supported. And then lengthen through your spine. On your next exhale, twist to the left. Left fingertips behind you for support and right hand kind of creates that traction to twist deeper, but let it feel good, don't force it. Release and twist to the right. Noticing maybe if you go further or don't go quite as far, our bodies are different. We have different sides, we have asymmetries. We have old injuries. It's okay to just kind of notice and breathe and see what space you can move into. Good. Release your deer pose and come into tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Toes can be tucked or untucked. And then find a long spine. The back of the neck is long. Your chin is very gently tucked here. And push down through your hands to kind of wrap your shoulder blades forward, protracting, lifting up through the back of the heart. And then tuck your pelvis under. So it's like you're lengthening your tailbone down in between your thighs. And then come back to a neutral spine. So we're not going to open up into our cat cow. I just want to find some uh, pelvic tucks here going from neutral to a rounded posture. Everything else stays nice and steady. And we're kind of unraveling the low back and then curling it under. Good, keep it curled under and then find some exploration of your body, shifting left and right from left palm to right palm. Maybe shifting forward past your fingertips and then back towards your heels with your hips. So throughout this, you might feel that just gentle engagement of your core as you're tucking your pelvis under. And then a couple big circles in one direction. Weight is shifting between both palms, both knees, maybe your toes tucked under and then switch the direction of your circles. Breath is steady the whole time. Finish up your last circle, come back to neutral and then walk your hands forward a tiny step. Tuck your toes if they're not already, and then push through your palms to glide your hips up and back to downward facing dog. And here, bend your knees as much as you need. Push forward through your hands to lift out of your shoulders. And then breathe in stillness for three breaths. Option to close your eyes and just feel what you're feeling. Let it feel good. Find some length through your spine, hamstrings. Expansion through the rib cage on your in breath. And then softly letting it go on your out breath. Good, blink your eyes open. And similarly to our tabletop, we're just gonna explore a little bit of weight shifting here. So. Bring the weight over to the left side, feeling it kind of lift up and out of the right foot and right palm, and then shift over to the right, becoming lighter on the left side, becoming more grounded on the right side, and then shift forward into your palms a little bit, and back into your feet. Shift your weight into your right palm and your left foot, notice how it feels or what it feels like to have that kind of support system for you. And then shift your weight into your left palm and your right foot. Good, and then center back, even weight. One more breath. <sighs> Exhale out of your mouth, let it go. And then walk your hands to the back of your mat. As you do so, take a step out wider with your feet and with your toes pointing out to the side, your heels in towards the center. Lift your upper body up, place your hands on your thighs. So we're in this kind of goddess posture, not super wide, but 
wider than maybe a normal squat. And take some sways side to side. Let it feel good, just toggling back and forth, mobilizing through the ankles. Good, bring your hands to the center of your heart and then sit down into your goddess squat here. So legs are strong. You have nice leg muscles. They're very strong and they have good endurance. Let's take a few pulses. So sinking the hips down and then lifting back up slightly. Nothing too spicy here, but just kind of leaning into that strength and endurance of your legs, knowing they will support you and they will last. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Come to stand, bring your feet underneath your hips, bring your hands to your low back, Roll your shoulders back and close your eyes. Pause here, kind of recalibrate. Seal your lips together and then inhale through your nose. On your exhale, hum. Feel that pressure and that vibration kind of through your low back into your palms. I think this feels really supportive and good for my low back. I like to do it almost every day if I remember. Inhale again through your nose. And exhale, one more hum. Mm -hmm. Keep going to the very end of your breath. Good, and then open your eyes, release your hands, shake them out. Shift your weight into your right foot. We're gonna find Vrikshasana tree pose. So your left foot can come either onto the ground like a kickstand or the inside of your right calf or all the way up towards your right inner thigh. And then push foot and thigh into each other, everything kind of honing in on this midline. Hands can come together, they can be out wide for balance and taking up space. And just feel that sturdiness of your foot, that ability to kind of find center again, despite the wobbles, your ability to recalibrate and focus. We're here for three more breaths. So you can stay still or you can challenge yourself and wave your arms around and play with your balance. One more breath in and exhale. Good, shift over to your left foot. We'll switch sides. So feel the big toe, the pinky toe, the heel, all pressuring down on the mat and then feel your muscles working in your foot as you lift your right leg. And that sole of the right foot can come anywhere along the inside of the left leg. But then once you find that contact, push into each other Create that pressure, that structure. And you can stay, you can move your arms around, you can challenge yourself and try to create wobbles and then come back to center or just breathe. Two more breaths. Good, exhale, release your right foot down. If they're not already, bring them to the back of your mat. Walk your hands forward into your Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Feel two feet, two palms. And then from that foundation, that structure, let's find some, some flow and freedom of movement. So on an inhale, Bend your knees and then start that ripple wave effect of your spine forward, shifting your shoulders over your hands. And then on an exhale, bend your knees, glide your hips back to downward facing dog. Rolling into the next movement, inhale forward into plank pose, moving your spine one segment at a time. And exhale, glide back to down dog as you bend your knees, 
and lift your hips up. One more time, roll through. And then we end up in our down dog, one breath in. And exhale, open your mouth, let it go. Good, drop down onto your knees and shins. Untuck your toes, sit your hips back to your heels, and then slide your palms back just in front of your knees. We rest in a kneeling posture, but we're supported in front of us, grounded here. Good chance to close your eyes and focus on your breath and just feel good. You could also pull your shoulders back and lift up and forward with your heart. And then drop down onto your forearms and elbows. You could rest your forehead on your palms in this modified child's pose. Start to soften again, take up more space on the mat, feel your skin widen. You could also shift forward into kind of like a modified rabbit pose. So put your forehead on the mat and then lift your hips slightly so that you roll forward onto the top, the crown of the head. Arms are still holding some weight underneath you so you're not finding any crunchiness in the neck. Three breaths, wherever you are, send the inhales down into your pelvic floor and through the back of the rib cage. Last full breath here. Exhale, let it go. Sit your hips back towards your heels. Walk your hands all the way under your body so that you create a nice stacked posture with your shoulders over your pelvis. And take some sways from side to side. Any final movements that might feel nice for you in your body right now. Any final grounding postures. Something that makes you feel present and steady in your body. And then we'll find stillness. If you're in your kneeling posture or wherever you are, close your eyes. And just follow the rhythm of your breath in and out. Just a few moments of stillness here of collecting yourself. And if your mind has wandered from your breath, bring it back. You could also pay attention to the parts of your body that you feel in contact with the mat or with the earth, pushing down, feeling gravity, feeling supported, feeling that contact with your skin. Two more cycles of breath. Final inhale, fill up. And exhale, open your mouth, roll out your shoulders, let the air go. 
Hands can meet in the center at your heart or at your third eye, your forehead. And then just a moment, a bow forward. In acknowledgement of your practice and gratitude for it, in acknowledgement of yourself. And then start to slide your hands along your legs, blink your eyes open, take in the space around you. Notice how you feel. Hopefully a little bit grounded. Hopefully good in your body, moving through some simple stretches and movement patterns. I hope you feel great. Thank you for being here and I will see you next time.